Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Susanna Shima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Single on Stilettos. Today we have on our show Erica Angelo and she's a dating coach for men and I'm so excited to have her here because she's giving us the inside scoop on men because she works with them all the time. So Erica, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so thrilled to be here. Great. Well, before we jump into our topic of what he doesn't want in a woman, which I know everyone want, woman is dying to know this, um, before we jump into it, Erica, tell our audience how you became a dating coach for men. You know, a friend of mine gave me some really stupid advice, and he said, I think you should start writing about dating advice. And I said, well, that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And he said, no, I'm serious. Look at your girlfriends. And I said, oh, they have disastrous dating lives. And he said, but look at yours. Yours is so much fun. You don't have drama. You date really high-quality guys. You're doing something right, so write about it. So I said, oh, okay. So I started writing about it. I ended up writing a couple books for women. But what I found was that all these men were coming to me and saying, help, we need advice. And I was like, wait, what better way to serve women than to actually coach men and train guys, hey, this is what we want. So it works for both. So now I exclusively work with single men who are ready to find the woman of their dreams. Awesome. Well, because you work with so many men, I know you hear what they want and what they don't want in a woman. But so today we're talking about what he doesn't want in a woman. So tell us three things that a man does not want in a woman. So there are things that you probably wouldn't suspect. So the first one is entitlement. Men hate women who are entitled. Um, I live in Los Angeles, so there are plenty of women who, because they're beautiful, um, and most men will feed into that, they develop this air of entitlement. And if you read so much dating advice right now, it's, what men should do and what men shouldn't do. And so we like come into dating with like these football suits on, like ready to do battle, like roar. And, and men feel that, like this sense of entitlement of I expect this and I expect that. And it turns men off. The, no, they don't have time for it. I had a guy friend who was dating this stunning, gorgeous model. But because she had this sense of entitlement, it completely turned him off. And she was far more attractive than him and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it was like you would, you, a woman would have thought, oh, he'd be begging to stay with her. But her sense of entitlement disgusted him and turned him off so bad that he just said, I'm sorry, and, and moved on. It really does. It puts a bad taste in men's mouth when you walk into a date or when you're with a guy and you're just entitled to think that you can be demanding and have these expectations without giving nothing. That is so true. I've heard that too from my male clients is, yeah, the sense of entitlement. And it, you you don't even have to be a drop dead gorgeous woman. I've seen women that were just average that acted like that too. And it was a huge turn off to a man. A man wants a woman that really appreciates him and doesn't have that sense of entitlement. Absolutely. Absolutely. And think about it. Would you hang out with a girlfriend who felt entitled every time she was with you? Hell no, I'd be like, Psh, you better go on with that girlfriend. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> exactly. That is so true. That's a great way to put, put it, is that if your girlfriend was that way, would you want to be around her? No. No way. Okay, so what else does a man not want in a woman? Guys get so put off with boring women. Women who are a bore. Oh, my God. These guys will talk about, I went on this date, and she just sat there. And she would just like answer with these one liners or she'd look on her phone or, you know, like she didn't really like, like let herself loose. She was just so boring. It is, it's like watching paint dry on a wall. It's so painful for these men to go out on a date with a boring woman. So if you're, if you're, sh and most of the time, like once they tell me about these dates, I'm like, oh, well, it sounds like she was shy. Women, then work on your shyness. But whatever whatever you've got to do to really put yourself into the date and to be excited about being on the, date, on the date, do it your best. But show the guy that you're enjoying it. When you come across as you're just bored, it's painful for the guy. And they absolutely hate it. That is very true. But I'm also going to go to the opposite end of the spectrum. And ladies, because I and Erica's going to agree with me on this. I know she is. Is men also don't like it if you just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. 
And they're like, they feel like they're a listening board. That they're just there to listen to you. And it is the biggest turnoff when all you do is talk about yourself and you don't get to know him and ask him questions, right? It's so true. And it's boring. It's the same thing back to yeah. the girlfriend. If you had a girlfriend and all she talked about, how excited would you be in that friendship? You wouldn't. You'd be like, excuse my French, but this bitch is going to talk about herself the entire time. Oh, my God. It's the same thing. Men are going to get bored the same. Despite how fascinating you are, they're there on the date too. So there are two people on the date. So give him some breathing room to share his story. Yes. It's all about balance. Balance. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Erica, what's, what's the other thing that men don't want in a woman? So this sounds kind of broad. And you would think because it's so broad that everyone would understand this. But Everyone does not understand it because all my men keep coming and telling me these women are doing this. And it's super being superficial. I don't know why why women think that when they're on a date with a guy they have to pull the superficial card. Where they start talking about things like their shoes and this. Not that there's anything wrong talking about shoes. But I've heard so many men say that was the most superficial conversation I've ever had with a woman. And it really... It, it drives men nuts, nuts. And I, I know it sounds. I know. I know. I know it sounds so broad. But women, why are we still doing it? If it's such common sense, why are we still doing it? Maybe you can. I. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I just know it drives men crazy. That I'm sure. <laughs> can you see the shock in my face? Yeah. I'm like, women talk to men about these things on a date because. We as women, we love our shoes. I love shoes just as much as the next woman, but I would never talk to a guy about shoes on a date. That would, that's weird. I have a guy friend who is very successful, and he was telling me about, the, he goes, Erica, some of the dates I go on with these women, they are so stupid, and they talk about the most stupid things. And I'm like, oh, you're just being harsh. You're being an asshole. Come on, give me an example. And he goes, all right, I was on a date with a woman, and we were talking about tanning beds and tanning salons. And she was like, oh, my God, we should totally open up a tanning salon. And I said, you're lying to me. Never did you have a conversation with a woman like that. And he said, Erica, I'm not making this stuff up. I don't know if women get, like, nervous, and so I don't know. But this, is a, this guy was a really intelligent man, but he said, some of these women would just talk about the most superficial things, and he's just like, I don't get it. So, ladies, when you get nervous, don't don't pull the superficial card, whatever you do. And and superficial can also mean uh, saying what you're entitled to. Men feel like that's very super. Well, I ex I've heard guys say that women go on dates and are, and I expect this and I expect that, and it's like, Psh, nobody knows who you are. Don't come in here with your list. Like this is not the time. Get to know the person. Share your expectations. But don't come in with this like high and almighty superficial attitude that this is what you have to give me. Yeah, that that is very true. And it, that's about, and that actually is a fourth thing that a man doesn't want in a woman is someone who's self-centered, right? It's true. And, you know, I want to challenge ladies with this. If you think you're not doing it, when you go on a date, monitor your conversation. And when you go home, ask yourself, what did you talk about? Because I think sometimes... Women do it, and they're not even they're not aware of what they're doing. So really, take it, be accountable for the conversations that you're having on dates. Uh, and and I don't, I never hear my girlfriend say what they talked about on dates. It's always he said this and he said that. Well, what did you say? Well, what did you bring to the conversation? Well, he's the man. It doesn't matter. You're on the date too. What are you contributing? That is so true. Is to think about what you're contributing because you're fifty percent of the equation. Yes. Yes, what a concept, absolutely. Yeah, and I just want, and this could be a little bit off topic, but I'm just, I want to throw this out there is when a woman says, you know, this is what happened on a date. Remember, you're 50% of the equation, so he's reacting and acting towards whatever you're doing too, so don't just blame it on him. Right, right, right. We have to have some accountability, ladies. I do, I put very high standards on my men when I'm coaching them. Mm -hmm. um, I have very high standards with them, but a lot of them feel beat down because it's like there's so much entitlement going on with women. And that's something that women, we have to be accountable for ourselves in dating as well. We cannot just put all the responsibility on men. As you just said, it's a 50-50 thing. Both parties have to come to play ball. Exactly. Well, these have been some great tips. So Erica, tell our audience how they can find you. 
You can find me on YouTube and you can find me at my website at ericaangelo.com. Also, I have two books on Kindle for women. One's called Dating with a Point and the other one's called Strutting Your Way Through a Broken Heart. And it's a 30-day guide to help you walk out any breakup. Awesome. Well, ladies, go find her books because I know they're great. So thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you'd like to view the videos, you can go to singleandstilettos.com. And if you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. If you'd like to get our free ebook on the three secrets guaranteed to attract any man based on scientific research, click here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com.